Ben Carrion, who is starring in Harry's Last Stand. Who is Harry? Harry's a guy in his mid 80s uh, who's got some deficits, let's put it that way. Uh, but he's uh, he's been a young, he's, a, he's been a, a fighter all his life. He's a, a self-made man. He's a, a carpenter of sorts, but he grew up in, in show business as a radio announcer uh, and uh, was happily married. Uh, he married quite late. Uh, well, not that he married quite late, but he had his kids quite late in his life when he was in his 40s. Uh, and his wife was, you know, a dozen years as a junior, so... Uh, and he, he's, he is forgetting things and he's, and he's making mistakes all over the place. Uh, and uh, his daughter uh, has been taking care of him, minding him and bringing him. Uh, and since his wife died, uh, he's in this house all by himself. And that's been about five years or so since she passed. And he built this house. They built it together and uh, he built it for her. And there are, there are visions of her all over the all over the house, as you'll see on the set. Um, and he uh, he's He's, there's been rumors, shall we say, that uh, they want to get him out of the house because uh, he keeps making mistakes. He, does he know this? Oh, yeah, he knows it. He knows, sure he does. But... Um, does he realize that it, it is that time? Yeah, he does, except he's fighting it all the way. He's going to say, no, I don't... Uh, I don't, uh, I don't care. Uh, because we all want our freedom. Yeah, sure. And your independence, you know. Absolutely. And, uh, and he, he knows about these retirement homes. Uh, and he just refuses to even, when he had, he had a stroke when he was in his, when he was 65 years old, uh, 20 years ago. So, after that, his wife said, I don't think we should stay at the lake anymore. And she got some pamphlets for these retirement homes. And I said, I screamed at her, absolutely not. I'm not even going to look at them. Um, so this has been an ongoing battle. Yeah. And, and we had a real, the only argument we ever had in our marriage, and she wouldn't talk to me for a couple of days. So that, I, I we made, we kissed it made up. But, uh, uh, so he's been aware of it for a long time. Uh, now, I fell in love with you in Sweeney Todd. Um, <laughs> Not easy to do. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> um, seeing your pain, seeing how much you loved your wife and that version mm. of life as well. Um, most of America, though, has fallen in love with you in Blue Bloods. Yeah. What in your career has thrilled you the most? Well... There are, there are a lot of things. Sweeney was certainly a, a highlight of that. Um, but also, uh, I played King Lear when I was 35 years old. And that changed everything for me. And that was be even before Sweeney. So uh, when I came to Sweeney, I'd already played Lear. And I, I had an extensive career as a classical actor. And so I was, I've been dealing with verse virtually all my life as an actor. Um, and I think that was a great fit for Sondheim's lyrics. Um, 
and the inner rhymes that he had, uh, because that's really what Shakespeare is about. Um, and so those things, those were certainly uh, vitally important parts of my life, both a little night music and Sweeney Todd. Oh, I forgot uh, night music, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it was one, maybe the most beautiful. Uh, we had a set by Boris Aronson that was extraordinary. The clothing by Florence Klotz was wonderful. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite songs is from that. Yeah, Cut sure. Bang. Which? Bang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an eclectic musical theater person. Um, what would you like people to take away from Harry's life? See you later. Well, I don't know. I think uh, that they're that they're they mostly want to try and understand what might be going through their minds, because I think for the most part it's going to hit really close to home for a lot of people. I think this is a highly a subject that is so widespread and so yes. prevalent that I'm really glad you're bringing this to the stage. Thank you. I think it's a well-written play. Um, I think it's great fun and I think it's very thought-provoking. And, uh, and I think people are going to leave the place moved in some way or another.